Hey guys, it's Bizel Piro. Welcome back to the channel. And today I want to talk about iOS 15 Developer Beta 3. The software has been out for about two weeks now, nearly two weeks. And of course, in these follow-up videos, I like to talk about my experience with the software, any additional new features and changes that I may come across, any bugs, and of course, the YouTube community poll. In these follow-up, we talk about the YouTube community poll because you guys provide feedback on how the software has been working for you guys and you guys take a minute to vote so i really appreciate that in this video we're also going to talk about expected release dates for the next beta so we're all expecting the next beta beta 4 for ios 15 here shortly and we'll go over some of the latest details and new features to expect within the next beta so the first thing i want to talk about of course is ios 15 developer beta 3 my personal experience with the software so far has been relatively good for a beta software number one on iphone 12 models i cannot complain about the battery's been relatively good but that has not been the case for everyone and we'll go over some of those details here in just a few seconds i do want to mention that notifications sometimes do fail to deliver depending on the focus status that i do set i'm not sure if that still needs to be polished up but some of the notifications do fail to deliver on my device in occasion and there's also a notification badge bug so if you miss a call or a facetime call you get the notification badge next to the icon well that notification lingers even if you've already checked the missed call so if you've encountered this issue let me know if you've noticed that where you miss a facetime call or a phone call you check the app and then you go back out of the app and the notification still lingers the way that i get it to go away is i have to reboot my device something minor with notification badges but it is a bug within the latest OS. Now, I've also noticed, and other users have also concerned, expressed concerns over Twitter, uh, Snapchat, and third-party applications in general just crashing. That's something to be expected. To me, Twitter crashes at least once every day. So yeah, third-party app uh, crashing is a thing within beta software, and it is continuing to happen for most users, including myself. Now, some of the widgets, for whatever reason, in my beta aren't working properly. That's also to be expected. Widgets are not going to be fully uh, adjusted for the latest beta especially third-party widgets are not going to be fully compatible with the latest beta some of the apple widgets sometimes do glitch out when i reboot my device they fail to appear uh, but again that's all natural uh, beta behavior uh, but one thing that is concerning to me within uh, ios 15 in general is the wi-fi connectivity for whatever reason since the initial beta I've had issues connecting to Wi-Fi, and once it is connected to Wi-Fi, I lose Wi-Fi connection. So it's driving me a little crazy. It's continuing to happen in beta 3. It is beta software, but hopefully within the next couple of betas, Apple will improve the performance on the Wi-Fi and the connectivity stability as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at the YouTube community poll, because as I mentioned, this is where you guys vote and express your thoughts within the software. We have approximately 12,000 votes and half of you guys, 50% of you guys are not running the latest beta for iOS 15. However, 27% of you guys are having a great experience as you can see right there. 18% of you guys say it is okay, but still some bugs. And a 4% say it's very, very buggy. Now, I would like for you guys to comment your device as well when you do decide to comment in these YouTube community poll, which, by the way, are posted every time Apple releases a new software or beta software. Now, here you can see that some of the most popular comments express concern with batteries, particularly on iPhone 7 models. So the performance seems to be good, but the battery on iPhone 7 models is not as good as you can see right here now some of you guys are expressing uh improvements to charging speed so that's also good news right there for the latest beta so charging speeds are definitely improved for many users as you can see right here third-party app crashing as i mentioned is something that's happening something that's common within the software and we have other devices on the contrary which seen improvements in the battery so you can come back to these youtube community polls just read some of these comments and as i mentioned if you can leave the device name, I would highly appreciate it after your comment so that everyone understands which devices are actually being impacted by what. But so far, the beta is looking good. The next thing I want to talk about is expected release dates for iOS 15 beta 4 developer and public beta. Now, Apple continues to release new betas every two weeks or two and a half weeks. So we're on a two weeks release schedule.
schedule, I would say. Now, we can expect another beta, beta 4, this week. So if you're watching this video on July 26, Monday, July the 26, which is being filmed, you can expect another beta anytime this week. Now, my money is on a Wednesday the 28th, but we could see beta 4 anytime this week for the next upcoming beta 4. So some of the latest new features that we can expect with the next beta are changes to the focus. Now, Apple is definitely uh, big into the focus feature this year with iOS 15, and Apple continues to tweak the software improve the software and focus is just one of those big features coming to ios and we can definitely expect additional changes and improvements polishing up the software for that particular category now we can also expect changes to widgets we've seen changes to the music widgets the way the widget now changes color according to the album artwork Hopefully, we'll see interactive widgets in some form uh, before the official release. We do have some type of animations going on within the widgets. If someone has Do Not Disturb enabled, you get the little Do Not Disturb icon. If a purchase is being requested, you get a purchase request on the icon of the particular contact if you have the contacts widget. So I've seen some type of animation, but we do want, most users do want interactive widgets. So hopefully, the music widget will get controls within the home screen and things like that. It will be really cool to see that coming but definitely changes coming to widgets and continue to evolve and maybe even new widgets will be added before the official release now some changes to safari can be expected as well ios 15 continues to struggle with the layout for safari i know many users this one has been controversial apple continues to tweak it but many users have expressed concern on how the ui for safari is working some love it some hate it i personally right in the middle i like parts of it but i do not like some parts of it as well so i think apple should really reconsider the layout for safari just some of the controls within safari like the share sheet it's an additional button away is hidden away i think it's going to be a struggle for a lot of new users to ios and old users coming from ios 14 will definitely feel lost within safari in ios 15 it will take some time to get adjusted just keep that in mind but i think apple should really reconsider safari we can continue to see or expect changes within safari until the last minute apple will continue to tweak this because as i mentioned safari has been quite a bit of a controversy within ios 15 it just really wasn't broken i don't see why apple is really having to change it that much i get that we get the uh, search bar right here at the bottom and uh, that's pretty cool but a lot of users will just get confused with some of the menu layout out with all the menus and options being hidden like the share sheet and things like that but anyway expect changes to safari to be coming within the next beta and last but not least there's still one major feature that apple has yet to roll out and that is the driver's license feature now this one is set to be coming to the iPhone in different uh, states here in the United States. Not all states will be getting this feature. It should be rolling out slowly. Now, another thing, a minor tidbit here for the Apple MagSafe compatibility, we still don't have the animations or the actual UI implementation. We can expect those changes to be coming within the next beta as well. So just overall improvements, some minor changes coming your way, the driver's license stuff. Stay tuned for any additional information on iOS and of course, the latest uh, new features that are coming here within the next beta. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.